So I put my liquid white on, but I put it on while the canvas was on the floor. That way, when you put your liquid white on, it doesn't spray everywhere, it just collects in one area. You could put a few paper towels on the floor or something, saving your walls. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. So this time, we're going to do, what well, we're going to do this scene that I saw. <laughs> It's easier for me to paint it actually than tell you about it. <laughs> oh, let's zoom in on this camera a tiny bit more. Yeah, something that's been brought to my attention is I need to improve my cameras. Oh. <laughs> and this paint. My Prussian blue Ugh. is like a brick. I did wonder. Wasn't sure. So we better put some on. What a disaster, eh? I'm trying to run a professional channel here. I haven't got the right cameras. I haven't got the right paint. <laughs> I can't open the lid. Ugh. Good job I've been working out recently. <laughs> right. Put in my favourite blue on. I know it's Prussian blue, you guessed it. <laughs> when you get a real big tube of Prussian blue, and it's quite nice actually, the Prussian blue, it's quite a nice colour, it's quite a natural looking colour, isn't it? I quite like it. Back to uh, back to reality. Let's get some Prussian blue on my old two-inch brush, and uh, so it was quite a clear sky. If you want your sky to be lighter than what happens when you put on paint, say you have your, uh, like I've just done there, add a little bit of white, and that way it gets lighter, and it'll get lighter anyway because of the liquid white, but if you want it to be even lighter than what it is, then you just put a bit of white in it, just controlling things a bit more, you see. More controlling over your paints, and there's uh, water here. Two about there. We'll put that in. or anything. I want this to be still, still, so I just scrub it like that. <laughs> just scrub it in. So that's the beginnings of the water, and of course we have the sky. Might just give my brush a bit of a wipe on the uh, paper towel, so a wipe. 
This is another way of getting rid of excess paint. Get rid of quite a lot doing that. <laughs> or you can knock it on the leg of the easel. I've been asked uh, a couple of times what easel I'm using. Just to answer that question, it is a Bob Ross easel. <laughs> don't ask me where you get them from, because I don't know. <laughs> so I got mine ages ago. I got it from the Bob Ross company. Yeah, it's a while ago now. Don't even know if they still sell them. Maybe they do. Good easel though. I've had it a long time. Sturdy. It was actually when uh, when I went, because I was clearing stuff out of the garage, and uh, I saw the easel in the corner, and the sun was on it, and it was like, use me. <laughs> so I set it up, and, uh, and while I'm hooked, <laughs> it's a nice summer sky, this is, nice, nice summer sky. So it wasn't cloudy, cloudy. <laughs> it wasn't cloudy, cloudy. But there was some clouds. There was a few clouds here and there. Let's use a. Let's have a look. Which is the cleanest brush? <laughs> the cleanest brush. It's probably this one. <laughs> Given all my brushes are clean in the, uh, the vegetable oil and then uh, washing up liquid. Or as I have uh, recently found out, as you're in America, you use dish soap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I dip them in the vegetable oil, scrape the brushes, give them a uh, bit of a knockout into the uh, washing up liquid or dish soap. And then, uh, happy days. They're clean again. They're clean again. Look at them. They're great. They're a little bit um, sticking out a little bit, but eh, I'm not bothered. <laughs> you could use a little bit of uh, something to sort them out. I'm not bothered though. I'm not bothered because once you put the paint on, it's all right anyway. So there's a uh, cloud going. Where those hairs come from? Ah. How dare you! How dare them! So I'm just pulling in one direction, a little bit of white. These are not going to be bright clouds, these are just indications. I don't want that much really. Maybe a bit. I'll do it. Let's <laughs> use this dirty blue brush. Let's give it a lift. Where are these hairs coming from? The battle of the little hairs that are in the painting. Lift, 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 lift. How do There was barely any cloud in the sky. There we go. Now. What we have, because there's a hill here, <laughs> and then, uh, well, now I'll show you. Let's paint it. Let's paint it. Sap green, a little bit of this mountain mix. My paints. My paints. Titanium white, yellow ochre, cabin yellow, Naples yellow, lizarding crimson, mountain mix for dark mainly. 
Prussian blue, also good for dark. Dark sienna, <laughs> it's just dark isn't it? Uh, Van, Van Dyke brown, sap green, bit of phthalo green, I think they're still soft. This is my palette I used yesterday, so I thought it'd be alright, but the Prussian blue, not so alright. We did Naples yellow and that, didn't we? Did we? Naples yellow, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre. Right. <laughs> now we've got that out of the way. In, you don't actually have to use the exact same paints, by the way. You can use different colours. Don't feel like, oh, if you're using that, I'll use that. You can use a variety. Doesn't matter. So anyway, we've got a tree. Tree. There. Let's use this dark. That tree goes to about there. That same dark we need to put down here. So we'll attempt at a uh, upside down tree. So that's the water. You already worked that out, didn't you? <laughs> Did I already say, I can't remember. I can't remember. Because all I can think about is big or small. I can hear you. Do a small tree. <laughs> what? Big tree. Uh, 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 big tree. a little bit. We don't need to worry about this being inexact. You can if you want to, but I'm not um, too worried about that. That's why I peek at my camera again to see what I'm doing. <laughs> you get a good view. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? There isn't actually one there, but this is a painting. We can do what we like, can't we? We can change things. I really like the idea of a, uh, a smaller tree right there. Right there. Using the old uh, fan brush. And try and do it upside down. It's terrible. <laughs> I've ruined the painting now. I do like the idea. Maybe there's two more over here. I do like this idea actually. Gives us a chance then to practice a bit more, doesn't it? Not to be a bit darker. Measure. It's that big. It's that big. This one as well. It's this. How big is it? More dark. Dark and there's 
lot about space now. Oh. <laughs> There's a victory here. There's a victory. He lives right there. He's a different shape to these. And that's alright, you know. When you when you're doing your trees and they come out slightly different, it's alright. This is not the longest reflection because it's the tallest tree, you see. Reflecting, reflecting. Oh no, <laughs> I've come up with another idea. Oh no, this this is going to be a bushy bush. Oh, it's going to be like that, like that. Yeah. Yeah, I always come up with ideas. <laughs> I hope it works. Because the problem is, I come up with a lot of ideas and I'm always coming up with them when I'm painting. And then I start thinking, oh no, <laughs> I'm gonna mess it up. Right, so, we'll leave that as that for now. That can be that for now. Let's get a little bit of the dark sienna, a bit of the van dark brown. Bit of this white. Maybe a touch of the, well, the crimson's okay. <laughs> Bit of the crimson. Oh, that's nice. More of the white, I think. It's interesting, isn't that? So we'll just cut across a little roll of paint on that one. And I'm going to put in. Maybe there's a, there's a branch that you can see there. Oh, branch, tree trunk. I put him in the water as well. And there as well. So whatever you put there, you put there. Maybe this one's a bit thicker. Go a bit thinner as it goes up. See, what I'm doing is I've loaded my knife with the, the paint and then I tip the knife over slightly and then when you go like that, you can get rid of the paint onto the canvas. Yes, that's what you do. Isn't it easy? Yeah, so that's what it was like. You couldn't see anything behind. Looking quite nice and neat actually. I don't like it. It's not like me. So, what should we highlight first? I know, let's highlight the. Let's get some of this uh, phthalo green. Phthalo green and some of this cad. A bit of the cad yellow and phthalo green. This is going to be a different green to the other greens, you see, because it's phthaloed. Phthaloed is what we want. Let's get some, so our light. Huh. Never actually thought of that. So the lights. <sighs> it's quite high up, but it's, it's, it's here. So let, let's do it. Slightly over to one side. Ooh, very slightly. Okay, a little bit of that in the water. Now you, you could always 
turn your painting upside down. I've done that before. <laughs> or you can just uh, just wing it because you can do that. Because it won't matter because we're going to uh, move this water a little bit anyway. If it's not perfect, well, it's a painting. That's what we can say. Dipping into some liquid white, look. Like shaving foam. <laughs> <laughs> Going into my yellow, look right here. Look, my yellow. And I'm holding my uh, palette straight, look, and my brush is straight. I want some of that green actually as well. With the yellow ochre. Bit more green. I don't want to go too bright. Oh, that's looking good. And you see what happens? <laughs> Get bushes in the palette. Look. I don't know if you can see that. Bushes. Yeah, so that's what makes it easier. So if you're getting those bushes on the palette, you know it's going to work. So then you spin it over, light's coming from there. I think branches, I think branches, I think branches. A little, little more, a little more. Ba, 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 ba. There we go, and then that um, needs to be. where my brain goes uh, uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> something like that let's go for some more of the yellow ochre some green Up green, yellow ochre. It's a bit different. It's got sort of a uh, almost fall look to this now. Which I'm quite happy about. Uh, da, 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 da. I might change this one. Yeah, more sap green, I think. More sap green. Just open that brush a little bit. <laughs> Got loads of paint in there, you see. Yeah, that's quite nice. Quite dark. Okay, let's... Um, just give it the old stand back, have a look. Yeah, I quite like that. Quite like it. I might have another bush. I might have a bush there. Uh, of course, I've got to go down there. Okay, now we need some grass all the way along. So I might use, I might use a fan brush. Let's use this green here. Oh, well, this is the fan brush, I forgot the glue. It needs gluing. Oh well, it should work. Let's 
get some grass going along this. the uh, yellows, maybe some of the Naples yellow. Let's have some of that light because that light's going to hit it here. Something I want to do quickly. I'll just scratch in a couple of uh, sticks. <laughs> just scratch in a couple like that. Actually quite organized at the moment. My table with all the space on this easel, <laughs> it really is organizing me. I am quite amazed. I am amazed. And uh, I feel like I can take my time now when I'm filming as well. Oh, everything's going my way at the moment. I think I've been watching too many Bill Alexander episodes. <laughs> Right, what was we doing? Let's uh, pull this down. Do you see that? So, uh, what I'm not doing is I'm not going ugh, yanking it down really, really soft. Just, t just touch there and touch. Really soft. No pressure. It's no pressure. It's just like, uh, like when you're doing your mountains. It, the pressure's about that. In fact, it's less than that. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a very fine whisper almost. So, now what I noticed <laughs> as I was standing there, <laughs> I don't know why when I'm painting, I always want to break out in song almost. You do, <laughs> it's a funny thing, isn't it? It's a good job, uh, painters that watch this, because uh, if other people watch me singing and enjoying myself while I'm painting and probably think I'm a little bit mad. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, so what I'm doing, getting some light blue. I want about sky colour blue, so we we know what we used. It was easy, isn't it? Prussian blue and white. Cut across, oops. Cut across, a little roll of paint. Now, what I noticed was there was like light, light just sort of um, dancing across. Yeah. 
It was dancing, dancy, dancy, dancing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to start singing. Everything's going my way. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's good to listen to music when you're painting. It? Listen to the music while you paint. Yeah, there was like light going all the way across. So like bluey white, bluey white it was. And if it goes green like that, you just see see that go green. Just get a little bit more of the white and blue, white and blue. Just go over it again with the thicker paint. You can do that, no problem. Yeah, something like that. Observation, observation. Back, have a look at that. I might do, do a bit of that. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I'm quite liking that, actually. So, next stage is. Over here, do 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 yeah, some dark. It's just dark. It doesn't really matter what you put in there. But it was dark. Right, and in here yeah, was the trees. Let's paint the trees. I'm going to wipe the knife. Wipe the knife. Drop the brush. <laughs> no! Dropped my brush and it's gone on the carpet. Good job I put a bit of rug down under my easel. Otherwise I would be very upset. Because <laughs> I'd have to buy a new carpet. Right, let's get some Van Dyke Brown. Van Dyke Brown. So, so. Now you could leave it here. You could leave it here. But, where's this tree? It was about there, wasn't it? There was a tree. And I want to put it in. There it was. Big. A big tree. Who's in the dark? Dark Van Dyke Brown. Big 
Big old tree. Big old tree. There it is. So a big old tree here. We'll have a branch there. Now we have the light coming sort of this way, didn't we? There's a branch there as well. And there. And there. And there. And there. And there. Put in as many as we like. Yeah, so we've got the light coming the other way. It's because I don't know this good sienna, maybe a bit of the lizard and crimson, white. So we've got crimson. Sienna. It's a little bit too crimsony. Oh, I might put some Naples yellow in. Not bad. Maybe a bit more of the yellow oak. Yeah, that's not bad. No cree brownie colour. Across, got a roll of paint, and we'll uh, put that on. Just sort of dragging it round, dragging it round a bit. Maybe a bit more of the Naples yellow. Have a bit more light, maybe it's gone. Okay. Now we'll uh, throw in the dark. Oh, it's getting hot in there. <laughs> I had to close the window because they're having a party. Can't do a painting and kind of. I'll do a video of people are partying. Maybe I should go out there and say, Do you know what time it is? <laughs> so I'll put some dark in there. Maybe some, some like bush, bushy bit there. I want it to be quite high up. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want too much going on. Let's uh, just thicken this up here. Some of this yellow ochre, maybe some of the green. Keep it quite dark, man. Mix, yeah, I'll keep it quite dark. Wow, that is dark, isn't it? <laughs> A bit lighter than that. That's about right. Go a touch lighter there. Okay, and then we'll, uh, we'll use this. Staying on the dark side. Because it was darker over here, because there was a big trees and stuff on this side, so there's not that much light getting through over here. So we'll stay dullish. Dullish. See how you can uh, 
working layers there. Got quite a lot of paint on my brush actually. about the dark behind that tree there. And then uh, also, also, I might, put, I might put a layer of dark in front of this, in front of this layer. <laughs> layer after layer and layer after layer. And then some really light. Maybe I'll have a little bit of light there. Maybe a little bit of light's just broken through there. Maybe there as well. Yeah, something like that. Got the old liner brush. I might get some of this Naples yellow. Thinking, maybe there's some lighter grassy bits in there. So you can uh, you can maybe really go into detail. Throw in all the details that you want to do. Could even uh, go into this dark. Put in a few branches. As many as you want. If there's any branches you don't want to put in, don't put them in. Don't feel like you have to, you don't. You can do whatever you want to do. There's some of these Not bulrushes. Let's get some of that phalo green in with some Naples yellow, maybe. That was a good idea. Because <laughs> I saw them as well. <laughs> right, so I think we are about done. I think we're about done. We could go light again if we wanted to down here. Light and dark game. Or we could say. We could say. Wow, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go crazy. Let's let's really go for it. Sign my name in the corner. <laughs> uh, one day I'm going to do something a little bit harder right at the end just to uh, challenge myself. Today, I think I'm uh, I think I'm done. Quite, I really, well, I didn't quite enjoy painting that. I really enjoyed it, actually. I hope you enjoyed watching, and hopefully I'll see you in another episode. Cheers, bye.